Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the month of December. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically I focus on love. We'll see whatever comes up. You know, when I turned on this camera, I saw, you know, I looked at the lighting and all the lights are on in here. And for many of the readings, I turn a lot of the lights off. And it's still pretty dark. So I'm thinking you guys have been through a period of darkness, okay? And even though the light is shining, you may not be seeing it yet. It still may seem a little cloudy, right? Or a little dark. Okay, but the sun is, is here and it's, it's coming. It is coming. The light is coming, all right? It is. So anyway, we're going to get one of these. Then we're, then we're going to get this deck. This reading is for somebody. It's not for everybody. It's not for every single person that watches it. It's not a private reading. Remember, this is for the whole month of December. It's not just for today. It may not even resonate today. It may resonate on December 7th. It may resonate on December 24th. You'll have to come back and check if it doesn't resonate now. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to hear for December? Door to personal healing and happiness. Now, what did I just get done telling you? What did I just get done telling you? The door is opening. Happiness, light. See the light? The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. The beauty, the light, the peace, the, the freedom, the freedom from stress. You know, the light is going to come back, okay? Trust me, it is. The door is going to open. It's going to open in December. And the happiness is going to come shining back in. Trust me. You, you don't have to know how. All you got to do is believe and trust. And, and then know that you guys hear that and you're probably like, yeah, right. Well, your thoughts become things. Trust me. The light is going to shine back through. And that's the truth. And you don't need to know how. We'll zoom this in after I shuffle. Aries. What does Aries need to know for December? New, a new door is opening. I'm getting the goosebumps. So when you get the goosebumps, it means that spirits are here. To guide you. To guide me. To guide you. So yes, there is a door that is opening. And it's a beautiful, it leads to a very beautiful place. Aries. You know what happens when it when the sun comes out when it's raining a rainbow but you have to have that rain to get that rainbow and at the end of the rainbow is that pot of gold so yes you're going through a storm you've been through a storm you've been through the rain like I said there's gonna be a rainbow and there's gonna be a pot of gold at the end of it Brand new beginning. Seriously, divinely guided brand new beginning. And you want to know why? Because you've lost, you've lost your, your spark wherever you're at. You've lost your passion. You've lost your drive. You've lost your ambition. There's no more excitement there. There's no more growth. And because there's no more growth, and there's secrets, and there's lies, and there's... Uh, confusion you are going to be given the opportunity to you're the divine I mean it's like the divine is stepping in 
in offering you a new beginning to shed your old, to shed your old skin, to shed your old life and start over. They're going to put those resources right in your hands. Seriously. Divine intervention. Going to give you the power. You're going to get your power back. Because the time is now to evolve. The time is now to bring balance and harmony back. Thank you, Lord. Mm, look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. You guys have been feeling lonely. Like, going through a midlife crisis, I don't feel like there's any growth where I'm at. There's no spark and you felt really alone, right? Like you were isolated and you maybe you wanted to be isolated because you were unhappy. I don't know. But you are absolutely positively being offered a new opportunity for something that is so beautiful and full of love. Unconditional love. Even if this is self-love, this is like God reaching out from the clouds and saying, here you go. Here you go. There you go. An offer of love. After the storm. A major new beginning. Major. One chapter, one phase. Life as you knew it. No shit. Done. Done. Life as you knew it is over. The finish line is being crossed. And abundance and wish fulfillment is coming back. There's going to be no more lies and deception. Everything is going to come out on the table. And you're going to evolve. You are absolutely going through a rebirth, a transformation. The, okay? We talk about the Empress quite a bit. At least I do anyway. What does she do? She gives birth to something new. A new life. She gives birth to a new life. New life. New life. New life. Now, wasn't this at the end of November as well? So this is the transformation. You don't transform overnight, right? And this is a transition as well. New, 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 new. After you have been stuck in a deceptive, deceitful, or shitty situation for quite some time, right? Where there's been no excitement, no passion, no growth, whatever. You've been stuck there and you've been robbed of this happiness. You've been robbed of any rewards or miracles, right? Well, it's like, because this is, this is divine intervention, it is. And this is the universe. So we have some help here. We, have, we absolutely have some help here from the divine that is here. And they're, they're, they're offering you a new emotional satisfaction, no doubt about it. Because you deserve it. You've dealt with the pain. And now it's time for your delivery. Period. Here comes your blessing. That little bundle of love. Right in your hands. Whether it's a baby. Or it's a partner. Or whatever it is. It's big. And it's full of love. Right in the middle of the reading. You couldn't get it in a better spot. It's going to hit you right in the heart, this love. So yeah, you have a new beginning. A new beginning. Whether it's self-love or it's love of something else or somebody loving you or whatever. There's love here and it's big love. A major new beginning. Where life as you know it is no more because you've evolved. Period. 
where you were at, it wasn't well suited for you. Wherever you were at, it was bringing you backwards. It was bringing you down. You were dealing with a Debbie Downer who was holding you back. Or it was you that had lost your, you were the Debbie Downer and you lost your ambition. You lost your drive. You lost your focus. And you had no desire to make any effort. It's like it was like something was getting worse and worse day by day. And you tried to control it, but it took your it took your power and it made you angry. The emperor reverse. This is caught. This is angry and upset. Wherever you have been now, now it's like I just want to bring balance and harmony back to my life. I don't want to live in this this state. Or you maybe they see that you shouldn't be living in this state. Whatever it is, we have this state of uh, anger. I think that you've been depressed, lost your focus, lost your, your concentration, you've lost your will, you know, you've lost your will, your will to do much, you know what I mean? It's like I've lost my will to live in this situation, whatever it was. And because the universe sees that and they're like, oh no, we have, so we have something better for you, we do. Time for you to evolve. Time for your new beginnings. Time, time for you to stop being cheated. You've dealt with the pain. And now it's time for wish fulfillment. You've been, you have been stuck try, needing to make a decision to do something. In denial. Stuck in denial? Oh, jeez, I'm crow. What, do, what have you, scared, fear. Fear of the unknown. Right? What's everybody going to say? What is everybody going to say? Plus, I need to protect myself. So, and I need, yeah, I need to protect myself. So, it's comfortable where I'm at, even though it's not comfortable. But I pretend it's comfortable because it's what I know. So, somebody has been trying to avoid some sort of reality you know what I mean it's like trying to avoid the reality of what is lack of passion lack of growth I don't want to be here anymore I don't want to be here anymore that's what I keep hearing I don't want to be here anymore they've been trying to ignore it but the fact of the matter is the universe is heard <laughs> okay the universe heard so now they're like okay dark night of the soul moment over Time to begin again. Time to begin again. Yep. Time for you to go your own way. Fend for yourself. Be grateful for the experience and enjoy it. The storm is just about over. Abundance is coming back. No joke. You're going to have extreme abundance because we have nine pentacles right here. This is the page of pentacles, but he's pulled, he's holding one, ten, ten pentacles. Extreme abundance, happiness, uh, whatever. Something that you can touch, something that is going to make you feel really good, something is going to put you, make you feel like you are, have something to smile about and be happy about and be grateful for is about to show up in your life. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know. You're going to receive some sort of offer from somebody. Okay? Or a new opportunity. If it's not an offer, it could just be... You could even come... You could come up with this opportunity on your own. This is a new opportunity to start over. This page starts over... Or he starts at the very beginning. So we're back at new beginning. New beginning. So... Yeah, we have a new beginning here that's going to bring you something good, something that you can really take to the bank, okay? You can take that pentacle right to the bank and deposit it. You can. It's not fake. It's real. It's gold. You can take it right to the bank. So, yeah, we have a new opportunity here that is being presented to you that is going to be emotionally fulfilling, and it's going to be... make you feel good. It's going to make you feel secure, you know?
Now, here we have you, uh, the same same kind of energy. I mean, with the Page of Pentacles, I mean, the Page of Wands reversed, the Emperor reversed, and the King of Wands reversed. You're all over in this reading, okay? And you've lost your ambition. You've lost your passion. You've lost your drive. You've lost your willpower. You've gone through some sort of repression to the point where you feel like you've completely given up gotten to the point of giving up and you don't care if you give up I've, I've lost all desire to even <laughs> give it any but this my energy wherever you're at right now it's like I have no desire to be here at all again back at that same story and I feel like you probably have dealt with a situation that you have been unable to control. It's been out of your control. You've tried to control it and it stealed your energy. Stole your energy. So you're at this point where you have now you have an opportunity to move on, start over, learn new things, walk away, plan B. And pass this test that you've been put through things have been stalled for quite some time because you're a fear fear of the unknown and I think maybe you've been planning or you knew that some kind of change was coming and you've been in the process of thinking about it you know planning trying to be practical trying to figure out what is the most responsible thing I can do you may be just still in planning mode or making uh, practical decisions here I think that you are about to take steps in that new direction this month in December. Steps are going to be taken, okay? Yeah, getting prepared. Oh, I, that's what I just said. Okay, you guys have been taking steps, been getting prepared for the arrival of your golden opportunity. And sometimes when you get into, while you're getting prepared for anything, you get prepared, okay, you've got some deadline you got to meet, and you're getting prepared. And what happens? There's a hurdle. You're dealing with that hurdle. You're almost done, and then, bam, there's another freaking hurdle. So, yes, there's hurdles along the way. So, yes, what you've been getting prepared for is right in front of you. It's in sight. It's the light that's in sight. So you have not been wasting your time. The struggles, the hurdles that you have had to go through, they needed to happen for one reason or another. Who knows? There had to be a reason for it. And now you, you, have a, you do have a new beginning here that is divinely guided. And you're going to probably have to make some sort of compromises in your life. You might have to let something go. <laughs> oh Jesus you're thinking about letting something go right you're thinking about walking away so you guys are probably in the process of making a decision as to whether you are going to stay or you are going to walk away it looks to me like you guys are probably going to uh, let go of something that is a dead end even though it, there's a lot of grieving there's a lot of suffering there's been a lot of suffering there's been a lot of pain there's a dead end situation that is probably, you're probably going to turn your back on that. You're probably going to turn your back on this sad situation. You know, it's, there's just a broken heart over here. There's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of, um, discontent. There's a lot of, um, regrets, you know, and, and, but now it's like, you know what, it's time for me to go after what, where I will be appreciated. You know, where I will um, have more opportunities. You know, there's just no more opportunity for me here staying in this lie, okay? So somebody is probably going to <sighs> go through some sort of loss, okay? Because this guy is grieving like on a casket. And this is grieving as well. So there's going to be some sort of loss that may or there has been a loss or there is a loss of feelings for somebody that because 
you know, a loss of passion. So there's a loss of some sort, okay? <clears throat> that is painful. And this painful, this painful loss is going to slowly move you in a new direction. And you don't have to hurry. Take your time. Take your time. There's no need to rush. Somebody is two of swords, three of swords, four of swords. Somebody is making a decision. To stop pretending that their heart doesn't hurt, that their pain doesn't matter. Somebody is deciding to stop pretending that their heart doesn't matter. And they're about to give up on a dead end situation because their heart does matter. And they're going to take steps in a new direction, towards a new beginning. Because where they've, they've been, there's been too much tension. There's been too much drama. There's been too many, too many, too much bickering, too many games. And somebody doesn't want to be stuck there anymore. I'm not going to sacrifice myself for these, this drama this pettiness, these games, and this tension. I'm not going to sacrifice myself anymore. And I'm ready for the change because the hey man is now standing up. He's, he's ready to face the struggle and the pain. So it looks like you guys are about to go through a major life change. A new beginning here. We do have a new beginning here. A new life. So be prepared to make some sort of difficult, stressful decision. Difficult, stressful, painful decision that removes you from a dramatic feud of some sort. I'm done. I'm gone. I'm out of here. It's like I'm on. I wanted to say family feud. I don't know what that is, but I've thought about walking away and now it's time for me to broaden my horizons and go down that new path and start a new life. So you guys are about, this is the, big, the, the, the birth of a new life. It really is. So you guys are about to receive that reward with with help okay you got the divine involved here three plus four or seven that's that's uh divine intervention as well a lot of divine intervention here so yeah hmm. i already did this one we're getting two of these you guys are are Probably going to be making a decision to let go of a dead-end situation. Something that is too stressful and painful and breaks your heart. My heart is too... No. My heart is too tender for this. I, I can't be involved. Goodbye. You know, that kind of thing. My heart needs to be healed. My heart needs to be loved. I can't be involved in this. Goodbye. Yeah, I see a new major new beginning here in December where I think you guys are probably walking away or somebody's walking away from you. And you're headed towards that pot of gold because we have a major new beginning here where there's love. Real love. Okay? Don't forget that. Remember I was talking about the hurdles before you get the reward? Yes. Okay? There's hurdles here. Yes. But you're going to get the unconditional love that you deserve. Seriously, when she gives birth, when the Empress gives birth, she gives birth to the <laughs> 
ultimate love. Okay, she really does. So, whether it's a child or a new partnership, you are headed towards love. Make that decision to take the blindfold off and be honest with yourself and deal with the pain so that you can get this love. Yeah, so you have an offer of love here. New love. New love. My heart is aching right now. <laughs> and it hasn't ached at all. I just got like a pain in my heart. Oh my God. <sighs> Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Remember that right here. Okay, you might as well you might as well say that these are the same two cards. I mean kinda yeah. Alright. You have to decide. You decide what you want. Take that blindfold off. Deal with the truth, even if it hurts like hell. Because you are headed towards somebody that is probably a soulmate. You probably, maybe you've already met them before. Maybe you were with them in a past life. Maybe this is, you've already met this romantic partner you seek. You could have met them in a past life. You, you, you could have met them a long, long time ago. Like, whenever. You, they could just be an acquaintance. Whoever this person is, you probably know them. You will feel very, very familiar with them. Or you already do. But this is, you have to absolutely, positively need to make a decision. Decide. Decide. You have to decide. So this is a month about making a decision, perhaps, to go on my own. I'm just going to go on my own. I don't need to be involved in this drama. Adios. Good luck.